Everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Time to Write. This is me terrible because it is 9am. I feel like every time I get one of these I say it's going to be my last box and then they do something that moves me back in and this I believe is a Greek mythology themed box and my favourite one out of the few Owl Crate ones I've had is the one that had Law in by Alexandra Bradkin which I believe is my first box and it was Greek mythology themed so I have high hopes for this one. I have limited spoilers for the contents of this box but I do know what the book is because I need to know ahead of time because that completely influences my choice. So we're just going to dive right on in. And this is the first thing, this is the card, this, oh this is the If the Fates Allow box. Okay, spoiler warning. I'm going to keep this to the side. And also I did see the post about like what book themed items are in, like what fandoms in a sense which was also the big thing for me because it has the Scorpio races, it has Song of Achilles, it has Percy Jackson, it has the Raven Boys, it has... This is like the first time I've actually read all the books that the items include. So let's get the worms, the worms out of the way and whew, there's a lot of things in here to start with. This is... it's all very blue which is my brand. So we're gonna start off with this. This is the Treasure Tomes limited edition pin collection. I have a couple pins. I have like the suitcase traveling ones. Oh, I saw the top it says an owl pendant and further down it is an owl pin. So this is by Treasure Tomes and it is the Raven Cycle themed. So let's, let's squeeze on in here. And oh, it, it opens. It's um Gandhi's journal. This is so cute. I love this. Because I think I, I might have seen a spoiler that said there was a journal or like a notebook item. I need to stop looking at the spoilers. And I thought, oh yeah, they're just going to make Gandhi's journal. But no, they've made it a pin and that is so cute and I'm going to treasure it forever. Next we have the seal is not light to be restrained. Is this the enamel pendant that is Percy Jackson and the Olympians inspired? Signed by Keeley Studios. Let's confirm. This is also... This is again so cute and I love that it's all blue themed because I am incredibly biased to blue themed items. Ooh! And we've got another little card here that says the seed is not like to be restrained. And then on the back it has some info. You'll find Percy's sword riptide on one side and Athena's owl on the other side. This is... I would probably wear this because in theory, I'm a jewelry girly, but as I'm sensitive to so many metals, I can't wear like chains because it irritates my skin. So this has Riptide on one side and it has Athena's owl on the other. That is very cute. I love it. It's like a little coin. So it's sort of Achilles hand mirror. Let's learn some more. Featuring beautiful artwork by, oh my god, let's guess how to pronounce this, Vitkovskaya art. Okay, a hand mirror. I'm a massive Song of Achilles stan. I read it for the first time, I feel like in 2018, and I, as a teenager, it did like irreversible damage to my brain chemistry. And this is. Oh, can I get in here? Oh, look! This is so cute. I would definitely use it. You can see around my room. There's my record player. There's my vitals. I would definitely use this as like a prop or something. Oh, it's got a little. Hello, here you are, my phone on my bookshelf, oh my god, behind the scenes. Um, it's got a little quote around the top of the mirror, which says, I would know him in death at the end of the world. I used to have that as my lock screen, because I started sobbing when I read that for the first time. This is so cute, this is so cute, I have no further comments. This is my favourite box that I've owned so far. What are you? Keep your wooden tables and halls safe from wayward burns with this ceramic trivet. Inspired by our favourite tales from Norse mythology, oh this is the generic themed item. Oh no it's not. <laughs> this trivet features a quote by Neil Gaiman has been lovingly illustrated by Pohami. I'm not pronouncing these names right but I want to give it a stab. I don't want to be like oh I can't say that and not try. You know? I want to make an attempt. I have, oh it's like a, not like a trinket dish or box, it's a trinket tray. That's the joy of myths, read the stories and make your own. Neil Gaiman, the print quality on this is like not great it's very kind of fuzzy up close but from a distance from a distance that's fine 
It's great. And there's like cork on the back and I don't have the nails for this to be satisfying. I see is I believe our final non-book item and this is it says picnic blanket on the side and it has folding instructions. I'm not gonna unfold this but this is this is a Scorpio races themed item. Designed by Janine LaCroix and the Vine Literary. I love the Scorpio races. You can see she's here. And I have I got the Owl Crate Scorpio Races box, which is again one of my favourite boxes I've had. I think when it's themed everything's themed around the thing you love, it works out better. And now we have what everyone's been waiting for at the bottom of the worms is what's it? Oh, we've got like the magazine thing and we've got a little card with like the preview for the next box. Oh, this is I saw the post about like the holographic jacket thing. So let's let's Hold on, let's read some credits first. Look at the vines. Signed edition, clear vinyl cover, dust jacket with a pre-printed foiled hardcover case underneath. Designed by Lichen and Limestone. Bold end pages created by Lilith Thor and Lichen and Limestone. An author letter from, um, let's go for this one. Hika Hatsopu Polo. It's bound into the book along with exclusive bonus content. Okay, so okay, let's... Let's start taking this apart so we can look. Okay, first set bind, love it, beautiful. I don't like the original cover of this book at all, which is why I had to see the spoilers for this specific item. And oh, it's... Ooh! Ooh! This is fun. This is... I don't have a book like this at all. This is so cool. Let's continue taking you apart. Ooh, look at this. What does it say? Feel your fear and keep going anyway. I love that. Again, blue, shiny, silver, but also holographic. Oh, you, there you can see the rainbows. And then this, this, this is so cool. This is, usually I'm not a huge fan of Alcrate books, because the ones I received, such as Law, The Bone Houses, which is hidden, um, The Bone Houses and The Drowned Woods, and Among the Beasts and Brides, they just change the colour of the background from like black to white or white to black. So when they do a full redesign, I'm very excited. So, this absolutely beautiful, stunning, perfect, love it, love it. Let's go inside. And then we have, we have the full on the inside again. I think it's a bit hard to see details on faces and that kind of thing, but it's still fun. I love the consistency across. Is this the same pictures on the back? It is the same pictures on the back. But yeah, can't see a huge amount of detail. And again, I don't know who these people are yet, so it'll make sense to me eventually, but mm-hmm mm -hmm. love that we go in and then oh it's bound on this side okay have a little look have a little look at that it's bind i need to have a very good author signature because just writing initials i know it's easy when you've got to sign like hundreds of thousands of books but it's not interesting which is why i appreciate samantha shannon her signature every time is her full name and it's beautiful she has little stars sometimes and it's just <laughs> i feel sorry for your hand so like okay i'd appreciate this but it's, it's boring. <laughs> if they updated the interior so the fonts match the new cover font, that would have been a full 100% pass mark for me. Let's keep, let's have a look. What else is new? Yeah. Because then it just, to me, it just shows it's been repackaged rather than like fully redesigned. That's a little detail that just me, nitpicky. The, the designs don't line up quite fully, so there's a lot of like overlaps and it looks kind of messy up here. But I love this conceptually. This is fun. This box as a whole is fun. And I love every item. They're all fandoms and authors that I enjoy. This is a very, this is a good box for me specifically. And it's all blue. And I can't complain about that. So I think this probably is my favourite Alcrate box I've personally had so far. And then there'll be like the Law one, the other Greek mythology theme, and the Scorpio races, because it's all themed over stuff I love. But yeah, I hope to know I'm skipping next month. So you won't be seeing this video for me next month, maybe the month after. If so, I will see you then. Goodbye.